So let's work on almost the last topics for this series. So what we can do is the following if we go to plugins. So if you don't see this one again, you can click here on settings and check show plugin content. Go to TT toolbox, health object editor, use this name or do the following if you go here and click create a new folder, say health object editors and we make a new blueprint class and search for health object editor and that's the one we want to create here and say bp health object editor base so you, that's how you can do it or you can do here right click and create child blueprint class and move it here and Let's call this a bit different. <laughs> Why I cannot BP held object BP SWAT guy held object editor base. Then derive it again and rename it underscore one H pistol pose pistol. So how you can use the tool is the following. Open this one up and here go to the class defaults and select the mesh. Here we search for SWOT. So here we have the SWOT, right? Compile, save, close. We will never touch this one again. So here it's basically just as a, as a child so that you don't have to set the skeleton mesh all the time. And then search for, not search for, ah, what you can do is the following. It's way easier. So go to the base class again. I forgot something. Mm. Ah, let's skip this one. So it's fine. It's just for showing the basic concepts. So here we say, right hand and we search for our SWAT guy not guys it's only one one H pistol balls and use the one which has which is not which is, which is with the curves so compile save class defaults so and for the held object we use the skeleton mesh M9, compile and save. So, and what you can do is, so I'm moving all the guys here and I also disable the, way. can I disable this one? Show developer bones. So I'm having very bad performance with this setting. It's just these debug settings. So here you, you have this editor. Go to the details panel and click on the held object. But at first, Let's use, I think it's frame four. So is it frame four or five? Yep, it's frame five. So held object. And then we move this up, move this forward. So that we basically match the hand pose. I'm always going into full screen mode here to have a better view. Move it a little bit forward. A little bit down, backwards. Maybe you're quicker than me, but yeah, I want to show every step. That's how I work with the tool here. And for me, that would be fine. I don't know for you, but for me, it's fine. A little bit forward, maybe. Yeah, this hand pose is not made for this pistol, but. We will try to get it kind of working. So leave the full screen mode. Then we have here a button. If you click here again on the root, you will click on, you have to click on get relative held object calculation. Then it will calculate those values. And if you say apply held object location rotation, 
it should be available for all frames. So if you go here to zero, that's fine. Okay, go to the next frame, next frame, crouching. So seems to be fine. Here is the well here is the array with the values. You can tweak them if you want. And then click on save help project location if you tweak one. But for us it's working quite nice, so we can just use this one and we click on modify anim sequence but before let me show you something more just browse to this animation sequence here and click on modify sequence and then it changed the sequence basically and you will see now that the ik handgun bone is on the correct location that's all done by the tooling and for that we need to constrain the bones again maybe you have not seen it that quickly but here this one is messed up and if we control shift s play the game you will still see oh that's the wrong character sorry i was testing something let me quickly select this game mode here so i'm going to this pause so yeah it's still messed up it's it's not correct and what we need to do is constrain the bones again for this animation for that, we use the tools here, scripted asset action character tools, constrain bounds from data table. Then we search for constrain and we will use, I think it's this one, constrain IK VB bounds for the maximum skeleton. Not all, because then we will mess up our IK handgun bone location again. And save everything and now we should have our code working yes so that's how you can fix it i'm still working on this stuff here and maybe in the future it might be easier to set up but for that we need a custom ui which i don't know yet how to create so yeah i'm just using basic stuff here from unreal engine for editor scripts so yeah that's how you can fix the ik handgun bone for the pistol pawns it already works for the torch overlay state and for the two-handed overlay state as well. So yeah, but we will not work on this one. We will move on to other topics and then shortly close this series because it was more like an experiment and show you some issues with ALS and how to deal with them. So yeah, see you in the next session.